Julius von Bismarck is a successful German artist. Here he's explaining his art to scientists at CERN, the world's largest particle physics laboratory, just outside Geneva. Julius is the first artist to complete a residency there. Being an experimental artist, he first decided he was going to challenge the laws of physics, creating a depression in Lake Geneva. This turned out to be impossible. So instead he built a sculpture, which was presented at the Ars Electronica Festival in Austria, and hopefully one day at CERN. Four lights attached to four pendulums move at slightly different speeds. After a fixed number of rotations, the lights appear to be synchronized. This plays with our perception. Our brain simply craves order in spite of a seemingly chaotic movement. Um, I wanted to put that part of the brain to a little stress and make a sculpture where your brain is always in between uh, finding a law to describe that nature that you look at and then losing it again. I think it, it works for the whole life. Um, you always find something and you lose it again. Julius von Bismarck had many such insights during his two and a half months at CERN. For me, the most interesting thing was that um, yeah, my artistic work is often about reality and how reality is constructed. Um, but more when it comes to forms and images. Nothing is more true than uh, what science is doing. Uh, like that, that's how people see it. And I wanted to be at the source of this uh, reality um, factory and uh, see how it works, how reality is made. Because people here are adding things, adding a theory, uh, an image, a particle to our world. And after that, the world is different than before. And I'm trying to do the same with my art. I'm adding a piece of art to the world, and I hope that I can change something with that piece. Von Bismarck's art is often about challenging preconceptions, like the idea that nature is always good. In this series of videos, he punishes nature, cracking a whip against beautiful landscapes for hours on end. He even challenged the idea of liberty, cracking his whip against the Statue of Liberty in New York, a stunt that got him arrested. If there's someone who understands the concept of going to the limits, it's James Wells. He's a specialist in hidden worlds, dimensions that take us beyond the standard theories of physics. He was Julius von Bismarck's scientific partner at CERN. I think that having a a science, an artist in residence at CERN is a fantastic idea. It, it enriches the scientist's life in many ways. It's, um, it, it's not uh, just about somebody being able to make an artistic work that, that we can pass by and say, well, isn't that lovely? It's more than that. It's about having somebody around who sees the world in a different way, who's influence can shake up the mindset. In, in art, oftentimes the, the ideas can be quite outlandish. Uh, crazy things that are illegal and cost you know, extraordinary amounts of money and the ideas are uh, just on the surface, just uh, ludicrous. But there's no barrier in an artist's mind to thinking about such things. And it's later, we can get grounded later when we have to think about actually making it, but let's talk about what we want to do, what we're thinking about, what we... And this is, uh, I think, a healthy thing for, uh, for any top endeavor. And the very best scientists work that way as well. The head of the arts program at CERN is Arian Koch. She was the one who brought the artist and the scientist together. In her opinion, there's no doubt that this first experiment, colliding art and science, was a success. 
In terms of the success of the residency, it's caught a lot of international attention. Uh, the residency has featured already in Nature magazine, one of the world's leading science magazines, uh, to featuring at Art Basel, Hong Kong. So it's really caught people's imagination. The artist in residence program will continue and is opening up to other art forms, such as dance. More unusual experiments are set to be carried out at CERN. And if art can make people more aware of science, the laboratory's masterminds won't be complaining.